Hello, Guilford. I'm Ashley Lynch, and this was your week. On Wednesday, January the 26th, in Bryan Jr. Auditorium, Bill Hamburg spoke about his work with the remote village in the Himalayas. The village Laperick is built on a landslide that began moving during a, rain, a heavy rainstorm in 1999 and continues to move today. During his presentation, Bill introduced the geological setting of Laperick, the use of modern technology to understand the line, landslide, and the challenges of dealing with geologic hazards in the isolated area of Nepal. Internationally acclaimed Chapel Hill-based artist Patrick Daughtry will add a new dimension to Guilford's Green and Beyond Sustainability theme year with the monumental outdoor sculpture on the College Quad near Duke Memorial Hall. Daughtry has produced more than 200 installations around the world and uses only locally harvested tree saplings to weave playful nest-like architectural forms. Daughtry will be in residence from February 2nd to the 20th. The Glen Haven Multicultural After School Tutorial Program is looking for volunteers. The program is designed as a homework help program for refugee children from ages 5 to 17. The program brings the children on field trips to the zoo, roller skating, and other events at Guilford. You only have to commit one day a week for the semester and transportation is provided. These kids will be sure to put a smile on your face. If you are interested, please email Juliet Carrington. For those of you looking for Valentine's Day plans, the Cupid Ball will be held on Saturday, February 12, 2011. Come and enjoy live music, food, and your loved one. Cost is $20 per person or $30 per couple. In addition, you can purchase the Cupid VIP package, which includes a hotel room with moonlight dinner and strawberries that evening, and a hot buffet breakfast the next morning. Contact Oldsbury Dials to purchase your ticket and or VIP package today. And now for world news. A speaker claiming to be terrorism mastermind Osama bin Laden warned in an audio tape aired Friday that the release of two French journalists abducted by militants depends on France's military role in Afghanistan. The speaker believed to be Al-Qaeda chief bin Laden, who warns the French government that its alliance with the United States will prove costly. France, however, said it would not deter from its Afghanistan strategy. On Saturday, January 22nd, Guilford defeated number two Virginia Wesleyan 64 to 61. Virginia Wesleyan was previously undefeated. Toby Atkinson led the Quakers to victory with a game high of 26 points. The Marlins had almost tied it but missed two crucial three-pointers before Brad Monroe got the rebound and secured the win. The game was the annual stash day in honor of coach Tom Palumbo. Palumbo, who attended Virginia Wesleyan, has won eight of his nine against his alma mater. Guilford host Randolph Macon on Saturday the 29th at 3 p.m. Also on Saturday, Guilford defeated Lynchburg College 63-49 to for their third straight win. Jaslyn Gibbs scored 21 points in the victory. First year duo of Morgan King and Gabby Oglesby combined for 28 points and 15 rebounds to help secure the win. They play host to Roanoke College on Saturday the 29th at 1 p.m. Leaving the court for the pool, the Guilford swim team gained their first win of the season over Emory and Henry College by a score of 75 to 28. They competed with Hollins University as well, but were outmatched. Guilford won the 400 medley relay with a time of 5 minutes and 14 seconds and placed in several other events. They have a home meet at Greensboro College on Saturday the 29th versus Emory and Henry College at 1 p.m. Well, that's all for this week's news, and make sure to stay tuned for next week's broadcast.